Welcome to getting started a step-by-step -step guide for your first steps with LoRaWAN. In this video we will show you how to connect a Thermocon sensor to a network server in the form of the Things Network and an application server in the form of Datacake to visualize your measurement data. Initially we will walk you through the process of creating an account with the Things Network and setting up your gateway. This will include configuring the gateway settings and ensuring it is properly linked to your new accounts. Once the gateway is connected to your account, we will proceed to create a new LoRaWAN application on the network server. This step is crucial for managing and processing data from your devices. Next, we will explore various methods for obtaining the required credentials to enroll your sensors. This will involve discussing different approaches to reading out these credentials accurately. After successfully enrolling your sensors, we will register the end device on the network server and set up a webhook for seamless data exchange between your devices and the server. To conclude, we will work together to visualize your measurement data on a dashboard, allowing you to monitor and analyze your data effectively. This comprehensive setup will ensure that your system is fully operational and ready for data collection. Step 1. Creating a The Things Network Account First, navigate to the website at the IP address eu1.cloud.thethingsnetwork. Complete the registration form and sign up using your email address to create an account. Step 2. Gateway Setup for this, you will need the gateway, the associated antenna, the power supply, and a LAN cable. Now mount the antenna to the gateway and make sure to set up the antenna. In the next step, you should ensure the power supply for the gateway. Plug the cable into the connector and then into a suitable power outlet. Now establish an internet connection using a LAN cable, Wi-Fi, or, if necessary, a SIM card. We recommend using the LAN cable. Once the gateway is properly connected, it will begin its startup process. The integrated lead is you'll blink during this phase. As soon as an internet connection is established and the LoRaWAN network is set up, the gateway will be ready for registration. Step 3. Registration of a new gateway. Open the network settings on your desktop and select the Wi-Fi provided by the gateway SSID APXXXXXXX. It consists of a letter identifier followed by a code separated by a hyphen. Connect your computer to the gateway's Wi-Fi. Do not use a proxy server for this connection. If you are connecting via a mobile device, it may be necessary to disable mobile data. Once you are connected to the Wi-Fi, open an internet browser. Enter the IP address of the gateway in the search bar to open the WebG UI. The IP address in this example is 192.168.55.1. Log in to the WebG UI using the provided default settings, with both the username and password set to admin. Step 4. Establish a connection between a gateway and your The Things Network account. Switch back to your The Things Network account and log in. You will be on the home page of The Things Network, which is the overview. Select Register a Gateway. Next, access the Web UI of your gateway. Log into the web interface again and then navigate to Packet Forward and then to Settings. The Gateway Info section will display the Gateway ID, also known as the Gateway EUI. Copy this EUI and return to the Things Network. Enter the Gateway EUI into the input field. If the EUI consists of only 12 digits, prepend it with four zeros. Confirm your entry to proceed. Now assign a name to your gateway. You can rename the automatically generated gateway ID if necessary. If the gateway has been registered previously, append a hyphen and a few digits to the gateway ID. Select the recommended frequency plan and complete the registration of the new gateway. After registering the gateway, we will now establish a connection between the Things Network and your gateway. To proceed, go to Gateway and select your device. Now, in the overview, copy the gateway server address. Switch to the WebG UI of the gateway and paste the previously copied server address from the Things Network into the input field under Packet Forward and then Settings. Additionally, set all ports to 1700 and apply all changes. Wait briefly on the web interface until the save changes have been processed. Now return to the gateway overview on the Things Network. Verify if the status of the gateway changes from disconnected to connected. You may need to refresh the web page to see the update. The gateway is now connected. 
If a connection cannot be established despite entering the correct information, please contact your IT department for assistance. In the next step, select the gateway to view the latest activities. Here, you can view the current uplinks and downlinks, as well as the most recent activity. For more detailed information, you can switch from the overview to life data to verify if the data transmission is operational. Please note that life data will be available after a few minutes. Step 5. Creation of a LoRaWAN application. Return to the main menu, the overview on the Things Network. This time, select Go to Applications. Proceed to create an application. Input your unique application ID to be able to identify your application later. Choose a new application name and add a description if needed. Now, create your finished application. To ensure that the sensor data can be correctly processed, we will now add a custom payload formatter. Navigate to Payload Formatters and then click on Uplinks. Set the formatter type to Custom JavaScript Formatter. Remove the existing JavaScript decoder. Visit our website www.thermocon.de in your browser. Use our product configurator to search for your product or look up your LoRaWAN device using the article or item number found on the label or the device itself. Click on Show Item. And download the Thermocon decoder from the software section. Open the .txt file and copy the entire formatter code. To do this, press Ctrl-A or Command-A on Mac to select all, and copy with Ctrl-C or Command-C on Mac. Now switch back to the Things Network and paste the payload decoder code. To do this, press Ctrl-V or Command-V on Mac. Then, save your changes. Step 6. LoRaWAN Credentials. For this step, you will need the LoRaWAN end device, in this case the MCS LoRaWAN. Insert the battery into the device. Remove the battery protection for this. Now close the cover again. In the next step, we will read out the LoRaWAN credentials to register the device. For this, we need the dev EUI, the join EUI also referred to as app EUI, and the app key. The required LoRaWAN credentials can be retrieved using the configuration app LRW app a data matrix code reader, via provision by list, or through configuration software you config. Option 1, Configuration App LRW App. Take your device in hand again and open the cover. Press the small button on the device to establish a wireless connection. Ensure that the LED flashes continuously throughout the entire process. If it does not, press the button again. Download and open the LRW app from any app store. Activate a Bluetooth connection on your phone. Once the device is found, press the red connection symbol to read out the credentials. The app will now connect to the device. Under LoRaWAN information, you will find the required credentials. Option 2, Data Matrix Code Reader Code on Label. The credentials can also be retrieved using a code reader. Find the Data Matrix Code on the box or the device. Scan the data matrix code on the device or the box label to retrieve the required data. We recommend using the Scanded app for this. Simply hold the device with the code in front of the code reader. Option 3. Provision by list. Available upon request, the Laurent credentials can also be provided as a list in the form of a CSV file for automated processing. Option 4. Configuration software you config. If the device is equipped with a micro USB port, this step can also be performed using uConfig software. You can download the required software from our website under Downloads. You will need a micro USB cable, a computer, and your LoRaWAN device. Connect an USB type A to micro USB cable to your computer. And connect the device using a micro USB cable, then press the small button on the device to activate the micro USB port. Ensure that the LED flashes continuously throughout the entire process. If it does not, press the button again. 
Start the uconfig software on your computer and select LRW for LoRa WAN. Choose the appropriate COM port. Then press the red connection symbol to read out the credentials. Step 7. Device Registration Visit the Things Network again. Next we will add a new device to the previously created application. Navigate to go to Applications and select the application you created earlier. Now click on Register End Device. For the next steps, choose one of the following four input methods. Option 1. Choose the end device from the LoRaWAN repository. Option 2. Enter the end device specifications manually. Option 3. Scan the data matrix code of the end device. Option 4. Bulk import end devices. Option 1. Choose the end device from the LoRaWAN repository. Select Thermocon Sensor Technic from the drop down menu under End Device Brand. Navigate to Model and choose the desired device from the drop down menu. In our case, it's the MCS LoRaWAN Multisensor. Next, utilize the recommended frequency plan. Option 2. Enter the end device specifications manually. Select Enter the device specifications manually. Use the recommended frequency plan. Choose the network credentials as follows. LoRaWAN Specification 104 RP002 Regional Parameters 101 From here you can proceed with the same steps for both options. Copy the credentials you retrieved earlier in sequence and paste them into the input fields. We start with the join EUI, then add the dev EUI, and finally the app key. Click on register end device to complete the registration. Option 3. Scan the data matrix code of the end device. You can also register the device by scanning the code. For this, use the scanned it app again. Option 4. Bulk import end devices. Another way to add devices is through bulk import. This is especially useful if you want to register a large number of devices. Navigate to your previously created application by clicking on go to applications and then selecting your application. Now select import end devices and use a the thing stack CSV. Choose the relevant file and upload it. Once this is done, you can click on import end device to complete the registration. With the selected device now connected, we should review the most recent activity. To view detailed data, navigate from overview to life data within the device overview. Please note that the live data will become available shortly. If not, please reinstall the battery. Measured values like temperature, humidity, and light level are displayed in green. Step 8. Creation of a webhook. Open Datacake by navigating to app.datacake.de in your web browser. If you don't have an account, create one to gain access to Datacake. Please complete the form provided with your personal information. Once your account is established, visit the Things Network and go to the application where you intend to set up the webhook. Access the Integrations section and select Webhooks. Add a new webhook and select Datacake from the available templates. Next, return to Datacake and go to the account settings located on the left side of the screen. Find and copy the API token. Switch back to the Things Network platform. Assign a name to your webhook ID and enter the copy to PI token into the input field. Complete the process by creating the webhook. Step 9. Visualization of sensor data. To visualize the measurement data, use Datacake. Please reopen the web interface and add a device to your Datacake workspace by clicking on Add Device. Next, select LoRaWAN as the connectivity type for your device. Then, choose a new Thermocon product from the template. To find it, type Thermocon and the specific device you are using into the search bar.
select the Things Stack v3 as the network server. This will enable data retrieval from the Things network. In the next step, enter the dev EUI in the input field. You can copy the dev EUI from the previously used option. After adding the dev EUI to Datacake, assign a name to your device. In the final step, select your plan. In this example, we are using the free plan. Then add the device to your Datacake workspace. After the next data transfer, the device will be displayed in Datacake. Select your device to visualize the measured values on a dashboard. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out. Our team is here to assist you. Thank you for your attention.